can I say? Yesterday was interesting. So you saw I went to Lotte World, Lotte Tower, the museum that I met for for the barbecue. Got absolutely fucking wasted. <laughs> I got home around like one, I think, which is quite early. However, I've been drinking so, since six, so at seven hours of drinking and my voice is kind of gone so we love that but that's a problem for another day because today is the exciting day hopefully i will be better vlogger and <laughs> get more videos but uh i'm just gonna grab breakfast and coffee obviously and then get ready we'll pack because I'm going for a road trip. I'm staying in Gangneung. I'm gonna confirm the name later on when I ask my friends. Uh, it's an it's a coast city, like beach city, beach town, on the opposite side of Seoul. So it's gonna take like three hours, three and a half hours to drive there. And just gonna enjoy sand and it'll be it'll be a good day but before that i'm gonna get botox to my forehead so full on day <laughs> time no see no speak um honestly the last couple of days seems to be like uh ages and like blur like i can't believe it's already friday i haven't vlogged as that much but kind of you know what you've seen until now is kind of summary of wednesday thursday and friday so i'm gonna tell you a bit about it so on wednesday i actually got my uh, botox done um you can't really see much but it's slowly getting it's slowly getting um you know numbed or whatever it's the right term uh i wanted to vlog but obviously it was just uh it was crazy that like there was some like issue with some patients so they've been kind of running behind the schedule i got there for two and i was supposed to go straight away but i was waiting for like half an hour and people being just like quite annoying and rude and i was just like the chair sitting there i was like what the fuck is happening so yeah but i got the got the botox done cost me fifty four thousand korean which is about 30 pounds so i'm very pleased about that it's been done by a professional by a medical doctor who um has a medical license that was one of the reasons why i actually decided to get botox in korea 
after that my uh, friend picked me up and we went on a road trip um kind of staying overnight we went to gangnegu which is i hope i pronounced that correctly uh which is literally opposite a seoul uh on the other side of korea uh, next to east sea i believe and it was lovely i didn't look much i think you saw like basically the sunset then few clips of food and that was about it and um, just the journey like i was really kind of taken back how beautiful korea is like the mountains seeing all the landscape it was just beautiful and uh, we've been just chatting and enjoying time it was it was really sweet really good and yeah so that was that and on thursday unfortunately well i'm saying unfortunately it was kind of expected because today on friday is actually bank holidays or public holidays in korea so obviously yesterday people hit um for holidays went for holidays so it was like lots of traffic etc plus the weather in seoul haven't been great it was uh, very gloomy and rainy so we stuck literally in traffic for like two hours like the uh, the trip to Gangneukgu was like three and a half hours and then we've been literally waiting for like two hours in a in a soul traffic to just go to my place I was absolutely naked so I didn't do anything I literally just popped down to a convenience store got myself a quick bite I went to bed like that was that and today I had a prop lay and I think I woke up around like 11 p.m. or so, uh, 11 p.m. 11 a.m. and it was raining it was chuck chucking down I kind of delayed to go out waiting if the weather gets a bit better not really but I went to Alphonse uh, Mucha exhibition which is great I really enjoyed it so I think you saw a couple of clips and then I had to wander around Myeongdong I got myself a uh, latte and like some bulgogi style quesadilla because I haven't eaten all day so that was kind of like before I went to exhibition because I have to wait for an hour and after that I went to Olive Young uh, to a few shops and then went to a uh, Michelin star awarded restaurant to get myself kalkuksu which is like uh, if, I, if I say that correctly it's a beef noodle soup and then I got a uh, steam mandu which essentially is dumpling and had it with kimchi I ordered in Korean which I was very proud of myself the lady understood and everything so that was sweet and then I went just to a few more shops got a few bits and bobs and that was it as you can see now i'm back home and i got myself a couple of desserts ice cream beer and makgeolli because usually what's kind of the tradition in korea is that you drink in makgeolli and have a kimchi or seafood john uh when it's kind of rainy but obviously because i'm so stuffed with the uh, with the dinner so i just went for my colleague so i'm gonna enjoy that and we'll see if i'm gonna even dig in some of the desserts so i was like just in case i'm gonna take something sweet because i know later on i always have like a sweet cravings but who knows so this one is the first one it's lemon um a popsicle should have some vitamins and then this one is kind of traditional way for wafer style um ice cream which is vanilla ice cream and red bean paste so we'll see how they taste okay very basic looking popsicle let's see oh that is lovely very lemony but reminds me there's a sweet i don't know if we have it back home in czech or in uk but it tastes like that lemon kind of drops that you can suck on it so mm, that is very nice okay let's try this so it's called monaca this one's zero sugar like a sugar free so we'll see how that tastes but you can see from one side it's a bit darker because the red bean paste and this is lighter because of the vanilla ice cream so let's see Mm. Mm, mm, mm. oh that is lovely mm. 
And as you can see, inside, you have the red bean paste, the ice cream wafer. I really like that. I realized I really enjoyed the red bean paste. Also, it's very sweet, but it's just nice flavor. I never thought it would be this nice, so I can again recommend. Good morning, so it's Saturday. The weather is absolutely awful like it's raining that you're getting these like notifications on your phone to like be careful don't go there don't go this you know this is the safe way to evacuate etc so i'm a bit like i don't know really what to do with myself um like when i checked the weather when i was in london it said no rain at all and i was raining second day and yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do. Like, I'm pretty happy to stay all day at home. But then I know I would get FOMO and will be miserable. So I'm currently fighting the urge of going because I should go because I'm on holiday and I'm in a new place. Or if I just should take it easy and do what I fancy. So I don't know. But anyways, it's like, I think it's 11 now, up to 11, 11.30 actually. I do my washing and enjoying my iced coffee, which I got last night. Because I was like, I don't want to walk downstairs. And to get it, so I've iced Americano. And then I got myself... Um, Bibimbap, is a bibimbap, and this one is tuna with still stir fry kimchi, and then I already had this one. It's like these tir tiramisu cupcake dessert, which I really liked. So I got that. That's gonna be breakfast, and yes, I'm eating cake for breakfast. But I can. I'm on holidays, so gonna enjoy that, and then we'll decide what I'm doing or not doing today. So I'm just about to eat a kimbap and I was thinking, oh, I probably should have showed you, but what you do, you basically just open it, there's like a string, and then you pull the top and then you just eat it like this. So essentially this is gonna make like you can eat on a go. And then once you like kind of finish the two layers, you just kind of push it from the bottom and you're gonna get more, as you can see. I think it's very clever, very clever. And I would love if we have this in the UK, that I can eat that on every day, like literally every day. I'm staying in tonight I got myself a proper convenience store dinner so I have the shin ramyun which is absolutely delicious I have a rice for it as well because what you do you take the rice on the spoon and dip it in the soup once you eat your ramyun obviously kimchi that's necessary ne ne that's necessity and then I got these mini wieners and I found a pleasant remote so I'm gonna enjoy this. Mm -hmm. 